All right, so now we're going to talk about how we handle the middle ball when we're up at the no volley zone. This confounds a lot of players, but with dynamite doubles and knowing our roles as blocker and workhorse, we love it. We know who's going to take the ball, and we're going to see an example of that now with both a short middle ball into the kitchen as well as a deeper middle ball. So we're going to have a feed that's going to show us a short ball into the kitchen, and we're going to have the blocker take this. All right, now they hit that ball in front of themselves, which was the smart thing to do because otherwise, if they go cross court, they have a big gap in the middle that they left open that the opponents can exploit. By hitting in front of themselves, they remain the blocker. They're putting their workhorse partner in a good position and we're ready for the next shot. The other thing that could happen is if they hit that ball cross court, in addition to taking advantage of the gap here, they now become the workhorse and they've got to take care of all the lobs back here. So as the blocker, you're up here, you're in the kitchen, you're hitting the ball over, now do you want to run back and take care of all the lobs as well? No, of course not. So the best thing to do is to keep your partner getting those long balls, the lobs, not confusing them, hitting right back in front of you and remaining the blocker. So now we're going to do the deeper ball into the kitchen. All right, now he took that as a forehand. He could also take that as a backhand. But what he did was the right thing. He stepped in there and he took the ball as the deeper player, put it over here, kept the partner as the blocker, they're the workhorse with it. Now the other thing that could happen with this is the blocker could have taken that same ball that came back here and they could poach it. They could take the ball away that was meant for this person. And if she were to do that, the best option is to do a lob back in that deep corner. But the first option is just what we saw there, deep ball into the kitchen. The workhorse is gonna step in, take that ball as a, ideally a backhand, maybe a forehand, hit right back here and we're right back where we were. So the other thing I wanna show as well is if we come over here and that ball's coming, we have this person here with the forehand. We have this person right behind them as the workhorse with the backhand. So we have a double door here, protection. So if this person doesn't get it, we've always got the person behind us here. Instead of like a single swing door, like a lot of players, when we're lined up the right way, blocker workhorse, we've got a double door that's in place here that protects us. And again, so we're gonna welcome all the middle balls that come to us.